What's good, Romies? It's Ramen on Wheels, aka Romo Bill. I know you're probably mad because I ain't uploaded this in a hot minute, but you know, you know, personal business, personal things going on, some stuff ain't none of your business, but uh, I won't necessarily say she big because I don't want to make promises, but uh, I do have a video I want to do, and I'll probably do it this week because someone asked me, Are you gonna change the look of your scooter? Of course thing is it's practically halloween time i'm not gonna do you know all of this i won't do that to this one right here he's too i don't know classy classy is not the word he's too stuck up for that should i say but i will be changing the look of the scooter now mind you since i last posted i don't think i rode him and you know why that is because you guys know i've been every time i drive around you I, I, and i see a certain car you know the certain car so yeah every time i see that i say it right if you don't know i always wanted a so kia for some odd reason i don't know why so every time i saw one i would just be like so kia uh and i recently got a so kia so i've been riding on that one because y'all know the rink. The rink is get, was old. It was old, old, old. I finally need a new one. Uh, the rink actually still works, but it was giving me trouble. So I had to go ahead and get a new one. And this what the Soul Kia look like. Bye down. So yeah, that is the Soul Kia, Soul Kia. So now you understand why I've been up in that one for a minute. But uh... I'm back riding him. Ramen X. I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna show you in, should I just do it in this video? We'll see. But uh, I'm about to put some gas. I'll be big, I'll be big. You getting some gasoline. All right. Maybe I'll do it in this video. Let's do it, let's get it. Okay, so I just finished semi wiping it down. I'm not doing all that extra stuff. But you might wonder, like, Shauna, what color or what style, what pattern are you doing it as? Did I even say what I'm doing? Um, you guys know vinyl wrapping. She like on an expert level where she's saying she gonna do it again, and it's gonna come out probably just as awesome as the last two or three times she did it. But what color am I doing it? The color I wanted to do it, to be honest, is the same color as like you see on the intro, but kind of like a blue in some lights, purple in other lights. And the color I chose was a color called Isotope or something like that. I'll, if I remember, I'll put it on the screen, that color. But what color did I get? Did I get the color I thought I was getting? This is the color I got. When you guys look at it, what does it look like? Purple, right? Well, in some, is it the chair reflection? In some lights it kind of, no, I'm getting purple all the way. Like purple. Only you see the like slight blue on the side, that's reflecting my shirt. Otherwise, what, what is this? I want it like a, I'd rather it just be blue before it be purple. But it was supposed to be like blue that fades to purple and blue back and forth. I spent 50 bucks on this thing. Don't feel like sending it back. Wouldn't be able to send it back because I bought this like almost a year ago with the idea of like, okay, I know when I get that Xbox, I'm gonna change the color. Bought it, opened it up, and I was like, Ugh, this is not it. This is not the color. I don't care anymore. Honestly, every time I do these vinyl wraps, I don't like plan it out at all, like in the slightest. So it's just like, however, I put it on there, it's however it goes on there. For you asking, yes, I do have. Oh, what is it? Oh, I got not one, but two. Awesome, cool sauce. If you're wondering, yes, I do have the basic vinyl wrapping equipment, you know, the vinyl wrap, of course. Then we have the heat gun. There we go, I forgot the name of that. And you know, the basic tools. Aren't these, are these called squeegees? You know, vinyl cutting tools. All of which I will probably 100% not use, except scissors. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. You can't learn nothing from me. 
for you who like shut up and just start already uh this is not your video don't click out now sean you've been gone forever i thought you were just like gone gone like you quit no i have i've said this before i have multiple channels i was just over there you know life you know work life the same thing as everybody else when you get to your hobbies you just get to them and when you don't have time you don't have time you know um yeah there's plenty of days weekends where i was free and i could have just hopped on a video but then i was like i don't like y'all that much to be doing that for y'all you know like who is you only just my road crew the people that's been with me for years but i like breaking bonds i know get started i don't know where to start i just decided i felt motivated to like get on camera and do this and then the moment I'm like, ooh, let's start. I'm like, ooh, this is a lot of work. Past memories of like how much effort this took. So we're gonna just do a small little zone. And for everybody who's just like, oh, we're just glad to see you back. Shana, we don't care what you talk about. Just chit chat on the video screen. Should I make this just a very long and drawn out video for people who just like need something to go to bed to in the background or getting ready for work? Okay, this little side piece right here. Well, I don't even want to be here right now. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna cut out. I think I'm gonna use this as an accent piece because there's a lot on here that I don't feel like. So we're gonna, what, about right there. I say you don't have to be a professional to do this, but if you want a professional look, go to a professional. We need a heat gun, which I actually am kind of worried. Like, how will this, like for some reason, the other scooter I had, the classic ramen. Ooh, I forgot his name. Classic ramen. I didn't really care like what the heat gun would do to it because I owned it, you know? Like, Kate paid cash for it. This one, I still owe on it. So I don't know like, what the heat gonna do to it, but I plan to pay it off, so it don't matter. Like I told you guys, like within a year, I was gonna be paying this off, and that was the plan. I was on track, like, to pay it off, like to be done with it. But then I got the soul key, as you guys saw earlier in this video, and now I'm like, forget paying this off. We'll pay both, both notes. So now she has two notes, two notes. How fun, two vehicle notes. So now I have three vehicles, one of which I don't use. I, I've heard that you can take them to the junkyard because right now it's just kind of like sitting in my driveway, collecting dust and spider webs. Uh, so I heard that you can take them to like the junkyard and get a few bucks. Then I am uh, a procrastinator when it comes to things I don't care about anymore. So who knows how long that's just gonna sit in my driveway. So one vehicle I don't use that I own then another, that's, yeah, new, a new vehicle. I didn't go brand new, I got a 2018, but only had 20,000 miles, so it's like, it's pretty new to me. And then I got this one, which is brand, was, which was brand spanking new, no miles on it. So, how is these, Scooter community, gang gang, doing, huh? I know a good deal of you don't like do YouTube, like ride scooters and do YouTube. You guys just kind of like into scooters or want to know more about scooters before you buy them. So you check out a few videos on people who do videos about scooters and then you, once you get your scooter, you never look at scooter videos again. So there's a lot of you out there. I'm not feeling confident about this at all. So once you guys, typically how it usually goes, it's like people who are interested in scooters because, you know, either they lost their driver's license or they're going off to school 
they need something to ride when they're in college or they're just you know kind of on the broker side of life at the moment so they need cheap transportation so they think scooter okay so let me learn more about scooters because I, I think that's the route I want to go so they typically check out a few videos on YouTube then decide okay I'm gonna get me a scooter and then once they get one, like I said, then they don't bother watching school videos any longer, which is cool. I know, I know a big issue that's going on currently right now in this whole scooter game game is that people who are interested in buying a scooter as well, they can't find the scooter that they want. Um, a lot of folks, they keep saying it's because of, you know, the whole virus thing where they like, well, they're not available because we don't have workers to stock them up. Don't wanna scratch the wrong thing. And before you're asking like, will it burn me instantly like, having my hand close to it. Don't think of it like as a blowtorch. Think of it as more of a hair dryer. A lot of hotter than a hair dryer, but it's not gonna be like instant burn if I keep my hand too close. Not too bad, right? I didn't do too bad. No air bubbles. If you guys wanna zoom in. Not too bad, right? I, I did, I'm do, every time I get just a little bit better. So you don't see any air bubbles or anything like that. I'm gonna do the other side. So left side is now also complete. I guess we start on like something like up, up here. I don't think I'll do a before and after pick because it's kind of like, you guys know what it looks like though. So what's the point of doing it before? Okay. I legit do not think I'm gonna have enough to do everything I wanna do, but at the same time, I don't care 100%. But like I was saying before, the whole, everything's out of stock, so you can't get the sugar you want. I don't know what to tell you on that. I keep getting messages even now. Hey, where do I buy a scooter from? I'm like, golly, don't you have access to Google? Come on now. Why are you like harassing me about where to buy a scooter from? Just Google it. And then it's like, what kind of scooter do you want anyway? It's like, do you want, you know, a cheap scooter, like Chinese scooter? Yeah, Google it, there's plenty of places. They all trash, all the uh, places you buy them from are trash. Well, I'm gonna say this. There's a 50-50 chance that you are not going to be happy with your purchase of when you buy that scooter online. 50-50 chance. But uh, yeah, like I said, there's a 50-50 chance you won't like the, I, the scooter you buy online. So, solution, go into a store and buy one. Now they do have those Chinese stores that aren't online, we can buy a Chinese scooter in person. The scooter, when you do it like that, they mark up the price. The ones that you see online that you see maybe like for $900, when you go in store, they're gonna mark it up a lot for like $1,600, 1800 you know? Still the same cheaply made scooter, either way. Uh, if you want a nice quality scooter, well then go to like the name brand, like top name brand. Now I do know like Yamaha and uh, Honda, they scooters can get pricey, man. I, I know that. Uh, but they are still quality scooters that don't have that quality price mark. So that would be scooter brands like Sims, Kimco. If you want to get a decent scooter that you know you don't have to worry about breaking down for you, on you, like for a couple of years. Go with Sims or Kimco. They have plenty of scooters. A lot of you guys probably typically want to stick to 50 cc's, that way you don't have to get your scooter license, which is cool. 
I am 100% with you on that. I do have my license for any of you who don't know. I do have my motorcycle license because again, people don't seem to just even look at my comment, I mean my description box. I say it in the description box. If the scooter is capable of going faster than 35 miles an hour, then you need to get yourself a motorcycle license, period. If it's, if you put the metal to the pedal and open throttle and it can't really go past 35 miles an hour, that is called a 50cc scooter and you do not need a motorcycle license to drive those. You just need a regular, typical car driver's license. So yeah, you do need a license, just not a motorcycle license. Okay, once I had done a few imperfections like this or that, this top half is done. I'm gonna do the other side. I don't know like exactly where, everywhere I'm gonna put this just splash of purple. Google, find yourself a scooter within your price range uh, and you're comfortable buying and then just go for it. That's it. What else should I talk about? Burned myself a little bit, not because I blew the heat gun heat onto myself, but actually because I set it down on my arm, like the hot end of it down on my arm, so I got it burned. I promise you guys that I am not going to promise you guys that I will start doing more videos, but I want to do another scooter vlog. You know, me just driving around communicating about stuff and this is stuck somehow. I want to bring back scooter vlogs as well. I'm just gotta find the motivation to do it, you know, because scooter vlogs take so long. It's not just a, oh, I'm sitting down in front of a camera and talking. It's, okay, suit up. Like, literally suit up. Put all your scooter gear on, motorcycle gear on. Then also, on top of that, put all your camera gear on. Make sure your mic doesn't unplug itself also. Uh, that's a whole nother story or issue. Make sure your mic doesn't unplug itself. And then like actually get on your bike and get out there and drive. Then come home, get all that information off the camera onto the computer then edit it all. Then just like, it's not just a sit, I'm sitting here, talk, 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 edit the video and upload. No, I gotta actually get dressed and go somewhere. You know, that's the only irritating thing about a scooter vlog. But I know you guys enjoy those scooter vlogs because I get plenty of you guys like, when are you gonna get out there and ride? When I feel like being drenched in my own sweat and suffocating under the hot Texas sun. Finished with this side now. Uh, I might just go ahead and like, Time lapse this thing. Oh, it's taking forever as it normally does. Uh, came out on this side about the same. Very few, no air bubbles, very few crinkles. So uh, I think I'm just gonna do like this tail end part right here. Maybe these uh, points. And that's it. Those points seem like they might be hard to do. But, um, and then that's it. It's like a spot or a splash of color. So let's get it. I blame myself again. I am terrible with heat and sharp objects. I am very accident prone. That's just who I is. here like I don't feel like doing this anymore you feel me like I'm over it
that was a long time coming i'm finally done didn't turn out too bad i like it ish but i still wish it was the color i wanted to be imagine if it was like this this color right here hold on i want you to see like imagine if i did pull this back now imagine if this was the color yeah right this color is what i wanted like to look like that one minute purple, next minute blue, you know, that that kind of vibe. But I didn't get that. But it's cool. Uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm not gonna complain too much because I gotta say, I kinda see the blue in some lights. Can you see? It kinda has some blue going on. Okay. But it's not as much as I want it to be. For my chit chat, let's just chill vibe do the same old what we used to do type thing uh, this is my puppy her name is girl how innovative right yeah and that's it that's it uh, I don't have nothing else to say I don't know I'm dragging this out because I haven't I've been gone for so long so I'm trying to give you guys a longer video to make up for that fact but I will try to do a scooter vlog soon. And that's it, you know. Ramen X and Shauna is out. You missed that? I know you did. Bye. Bye. Look how ugly. Do you see it? Bye.